This video will talk about the nitrogen fertilizer rule and a hypothesis test that we can conduct. Our null hypothesis here is that the proportion of farmers that support the nitrogen fertilizer rule is 0.5. Our alternative hypothesis is that the proportion of farmers that uh, support the rule are the majority or that the proportion is greater than 0.5. And so remember, we can do use the Z test to calculate this equation and to run this hypothesis test. What P hat is in the formula is from our small sample. Remember, we sampled 18 farmers, or sorry, we sampled 35 farmers, but 18 of them said that they supported the rule. And so P hat here in this problem is going to be 0 0.51. Our value P sub zero is the value that we're testing against, or it's the value that's in our null hypothesis, or it's really just 0 0.5. And then we divide this by uh, the square root of what we'll call the standard error. Uh, and here we're looking at uh, P sub zero or 0 0.50 times one minus P sub zero divided by N. And remember, and in this case was 35, because we were sampling 35 farmers. Now here we can do the math, uh, and we will eventually find, uh, let's see, our value of z would equal uh, 0 0.10 in the numerator, and then 0 0.0845 in the denominator, or our value of z would be 1.18. And so here, uh, we could look up on the Z table what the corresponding value might be. Uh, and here we can say that the p-value is twice the one-sided value. And so here we could say that the probability that Z is greater than or equal to 1.18 equals one minus 0 0.8810. And remember, I'm getting this from the Z table, or that would equal, uh, in this case, 0 0.1190. So what can we say then about the results of our hypothesis test? Well, here we would fail to reject the null hypothesis because there's not enough of evidence to say that the majority of farmers support the nitrogen fertilizer rule. Um, and remember here, our p-value was 0 0.1190, and we're running a test at 0 0.10. And so here, our p-value was greater than our level of significance alpha at 0 0.10. And so this is important because uh, it tells us uh, the outcome of the hypothesis test. And this is an interesting outcome because even though we found in our sample that the majority of people supported the rule, when we went to apply it in our hypothesis test, uh, we did not have enough support. Uh, and that was partly because although it's 0.51 is greater than, and that represents the majority, it's not much greater than 0 0.5. And we also had a pretty small sample uh, when we looked at uh, just 35 people that we had surveyed. So these are some interesting results in this case, when we looked at uh, just a example looking at the nitrogen fertilizer rule and what farmers thought. 